Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Delicious Budgeting. My name is Anna. This past Sunday, I just got back from Dallas, Texas, and this upcoming Sunday, my work is sending me to Irvine for a little bit over a week to complete a training course, which I am very nervous about because this is my very first time traveling by myself, and the process looks a little bit different than what I'm used to since it's funded through my work. So they'll be paying for my flight, hotel, rental car, as well as give me a budget for food, and I just need to bring additional documents. I had to download different apps, to show when I like rent the car, check into the hotel and all that since it's not like on my personal card. So I am a bit nervous. Also, I don't know anybody out there in Irvine, nor do I know anybody in the training class because they're just kind of sending us there all over from California. So nobody from my office. So I'm assuming I'll be having a lot of dinners by myself, which is also something I am nervous about. However, my hotel does seem pretty cool. It has a lot of really nice amenities. It has a pool, a gym, a restaurant, a tennis ball court, even though I have nobody to play with. So kind of my plan is I do have my class from 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. is to grab dinner afterwards and then after that just go straight to the hotel. I'm not trying to stay out late or anything like that. So maybe some nights I'll eat at the restaurant there or after dinner I'll work out or go for a swim and just kind of keep myself busy there and just kind of refresh for the next day and it's just going to be a long time to be away from Ernie and the dogs. Even this weekend trip in Dallas it just seemed like forever. So I will be vlogging that experience just not the training class itself because I do need to protect confidentiality with my job. Stay tuned to see what I pack because I'm trying to bring a little bit over a week's worth of clothes like work clothes, casual clothes, gym outfits, swimsuits. I'm gonna carry on and a personal item and I need to bring my work equipment so this should be interesting so stay tuned if you're new to my channel welcome I focus on content such as beauty my style has saved money so if you're interested please hit the subscribe button down below also let's give this video a thumbs up be sure to turn on notifications I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and just go ahead and get straight to packing I decided to bring my old makeup travel bag because it fits absolutely everything in here from hair skincare and makeup and it's less bulky than my other one so of course I'm gonna bring my Yensa super Serum Silk Foundation and my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer and my Maybelline Super Stay Concealer. Also, I just refilled my perfume automizer with the Daisy Marc Jacobs perfume and I'm bringing my Vaseline all over body balm just to layer over the perfume to make it last longer. And then for my eye primer, I'm bringing my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk and then my Stila Liquid Eyeliner and then just a travel size mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex. And then I'm just bringing my e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand. And then I'm bringing my More Sugar Pie Lip Liner. It's more of a nude shade and then a burgundy lip liner from ColourPop. And I'm just bringing one nude lipstick from MAC in the shade Whirl. This Milani lipstick in the shade Passion is my go-to for work. It's the absolute perfect shade. And then I'm just bringing my BH Cosmetics makeup brushes. And then I got these two from Ioni from Dollar Tree. And then I also got these two like blush brushes and highlighter brushes from Dollar Tree as well by Ioni. And of course, I always bring the brushes that my friend Crystal got me. That's super sweet of her. And then on this side, I just had my backup kiss nails in case any fall off. I brought some nail glue so I can re-glue it. And then I'm just bringing this eyeshadow palette because it comes with like blush and bronzer. Actually, let me show you. Unfortunately, they don't make this anymore, but I absolutely love it for traveling. It's the In the Bomb of Your Hand by the Bomb Cosmetics. So I'm just going to bring this because it has a mirror, has everything I need for a complete eye look. Also some blushes and bronzer. And I could always use the blushes as eyeshadow as well. I just want to keep it nice and simple for work. Also, I'm just gonna bring this mini eyeshadow palette in case I want to add a pop of color. I absolutely love how compact this is and it comes with the mirror. You get four matte shades and four shimmer shades. They have some pinks and some purples as well as some neutral shades and a pop of green. I'm really shocked I have not hit pan on this yet. I've had this since my YouTube channel started. So it's the iHeart Revolution Rose Gold Highlighter Palette. So I love bringing this. It comes with the mirror and you have an icy champagne color or a gold highlighter. And everything fits nicely right here. And then in this section, I just have everything I need to remove my makeup. So I just have my little headband. I have this makeup eraser from the Dollar Tree. I just have it in this little pouch. And of course I have my Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. And then over here I have my travel size tart finishing powder and then I just have my 
powder puff right here, my LA Colors Sugar Lip Scrub, and I have my Ioni Lash Curler. And then I have two Sang Sprays. I have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better, as well as the Ulta Mattifying Sang Spray. And then over here, I just have my hair stuff. So I have my travel wet brush, some hair ties and pins, and then I have my spray and leave-in conditioner. And I purchased a new hairspray when we were in Dallas. So I have this Tresemme hairspray. So I just love this makeup travel bag. I thought the new one would take up less space, but it actually expands the more that I put in it. So this fits absolutely everything I need and more. We're already looking a little bit full and I still need to add my work outfits, but I'll be fine because I really haven't added anything into my personal yet. I just wanna make sure that my work laptop and everything fits in there before I add like my personal stuff. But so far I have these disinfecting wipes from Dollar Tree. Also have some of my personal, but I know I'm gonna run out, especially for me being there for a whole week. And then I have my Connell wipes. And then I got this on sale at Victoria's Secret. I forgot how much I paid for it. I wanna say like $11 or so. It fits like your bra and underwear perfectly. So I'm not gonna show that on camera, but everything is in here. And then underneath, I just have like my swimsuit and pajamas and just some like extra like socks, things like that, some loungewear. You all know I need to travel with my leg pillow, otherwise I don't get the best sleep. It sucks though because it takes up so much room. And then I just have my toiletries in here. I just don't have time to film like the outfits I'm packing with me, especially packing work outfits and I'm trying to make as much space as possible and like mix and match. So you'll see once I'm out there, I'm definitely going to vlog it. And then I just have my shoes in here. So I'll probably put my makeup travel bag in here and then once I finalize my work outfits, I'll like maybe put it in this section. We'll make it work. So I need to add things in here. So probably like my straightener, maybe my toiletry bag, but we'll make it all come together, don't worry. So three of my nails just broke off. So I just decided to take them all off and just put on a new set. So I'm gonna go with this real short acrylic nude. Plus I just think it's a little bit more work appropriate and the shorter the nail, the longer they last. So I'm gonna switch to these nails. And this is what my nails look like afterwards. Okay, so I'm already running out of space, so I'm gonna try and consolidate these two in this large packing cube. So I'm gonna be there a little bit over a week, and I'm trying to pack work outfits, casual outfits, my pajamas, loungewear, gym outfits. Also, I'm bringing a swimsuit. Since I am gonna be there a little bit over a week, my hotel does have a pool, a restaurant, a tennis ball court, and a gym. So after work, I'll probably grab dinner somewhere and then head back to the hotel to work out go swimming, maybe at the restaurant some nights. I'm not trying to be out by myself late. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so I was able to compact them both in here and I still have a little bit of room if I want to pack a little bit more. And during the process of packing, I took out an outfit and like a slip to go underneath that work dress. So I'm just trying to pack as light as possible, but also bring everything for a comfortable stay since I'm gonna be there for a while. Totally forgot this was meant for a check-in luggage. However, it fits perfectly. And then I'm just gonna put the second one on top. 
I'll press it down a little bit more. I'm just filming with one hand right now. And then my travel pillow, I'll just kind of squish in there. Okay, this is it. It's gonna close. I can't pack anything more. So let me zip it up. It fits, it zips, no problem. So thank goodness. On the day before I leave, I'm gonna pack my straightener in here. And I had to move the shoes into my personal and my makeup bag. And then my work laptop needs to go into one of these pockets. I do have to pack my work laptop and charger, but I'm just bringing a notebook and then some pens, pencils, highlighters, just in case I want to take some handwritten notes because I feel like I absorb the information better if I'm writing it out in my own words. And plus, I like color coding things. It just helps me learn a bit better. So I'm just going to bring these. And it doesn't really take up much room either. And that is everything that I'm packing with me to my work trip to Irvine. So we were able to make it work. I just need to include like my laptop, my laptop charger, and then my straightener, and then just like my personal chargers for my phone and stuff. But that can go in the front pocket of my personal item. So as I mentioned, I will be vlogging this trip. So stay tuned. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to turn on notifications. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday, and I'll see you all in Irvine. Bye, everyone.